So this is part two of our complex ion lab here. Uh, we're going to start off by making a solution of copper 2 sulfate. Uh, this one here is the pentahydrate form. Uh, it gives off a really nice blue color as a solid. I'm going to first dissolve this solid here into water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to investigate by dropping in other potential ligands, say ammonia, say chloride via the sodium chloride uh, ionic compound. Uh, we're going to see the differences that um, uh, happen inside the test tube. So let's just scoop up a little bit of this copper sulfate. Add in some water. We're going to be dividing this solution here into uh, three. So I'm going to leave a little bit here in uh, our original test tube just so that we have a control. Uh, so we have some sense of uh, what the color was to start off. Uh, copper to sulfate here is soluble, although it might take a little bit of uh, time, a little bit of mashing just to get some of that blue powder actually uh, physically dissolved. Uh, once this has been dissolved here, I'm going to separate this into two other containers here. Um, we're going to try to replace water as a ligand here. Right now here we have the hexa aqua compound here. We're going to try to drop in some ammonia and see what happens. And then as I mentioned here, we're going to try to um, use chloride as our other replacing ligand as well. Okay. So uh, there we have our copper 2 sulfate solution here. I'm going to transfer a little bit of this here into the middle uh, container. So this one here, I'm going to add uh, ammonia to that. And for the other one here, I'm going to add just solid chunks of sodium chloride. Uh, again, I'm just keeping a little bit of the blue solution so you can uh, have a control to sort of compare to. So uh, starting off with ammonia here, you do want to be careful with ammonia here. It is fairly strong smelling, so um, careful when you're um, uh, bringing this close to yourself here. So uh, notice the color beforehand here. Uh, right now it's the water as the ligand here. As you toss in some ammonia, we're going to watch what happens. So pour a little bit of ammonia. Right away, you see that the color deepens into a nice royal blue kind of color here. Uh, if you're looking really closely, you'll actually see some precipitate actually form as well. Okay, so that was the effect of having ammonia itself as a ligand as well. I'm just going to add a little bit more to see if there's any other changes that we have. Okay. So actually, some of that precipitate actually ends up disappearing when we actually uh, add in more ammonia. Okay, but compared to the original uh, water complex here, we see that it's a very different uh, ligand. Let's do something similar here for the sodium chloride as well here. So let's take the sodium chloride. Okay. I'm just going to take uh, our uh, test tube here. I'm going to add in a little bit of sodium chloride. Uh, chlorine is going to be our ligand. So let's see if there's any difference here. So copper to uh, sulfate. Add in some chloride into there. Stir it up a little bit. Again, chlorine is potentially um, a different ligand here and again you can make a comparison with the before and after this is copper here in a perfectly uh, six waters around it hexa aqua compound this is when there's ammonia present here and this one here is now we've substituted some of those water ligands here with the chloride ligand here and you can see an actual difference in color between um, the ligand choice okay the ligands will actually differ in strength based on the spectrochemical series uh, and depending on the equilibria, depending on sort of the concentrations present as well, uh, we can actually form different uh, complexes and notable uh, changes in color. All right, thanks guys.